Hello and welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. That's me. Thanks for watching again. Today's video will talk about the upgrade from Victron Venus OS 3.12 to 3.13. So let's get started with this one. As you've seen, uh, the last month was pretty low on videos on my end, so apologies for that, but I took a little time off to relax and travel. I'm fully back, so it means there will be more videos coming now, this including, and it means we will focus on the existing Venus OS 3.12 installation on my Raspberry Pi 2 and my Raspberry Pi 4. And to get started, first of all, we'll look into the changelog, what changed and when was it released. And therefore you can see here my screen, there's a document, Venus OS firmware changelog, and then we can see there's a changelog. And when we pull it down, I hope you can see, let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys. When we look, here we go. 3.13, it was released December 6th. So as of today, we have December 27, which means um, it's over 20 days ago. But nevertheless, um, I wanna share this with you in case you haven't seen it. I guess a lot of people have seen it, but we'll go ahead, we'll do the installation and see if it does install without any issues as well as the setup helper will be installed afterwards immediately. So here we go, here are the changes. Um, as always, I run through this, so please feel free to pause the video anytime you want to read through it. I try to copy and paste everything also below in the description, but sometimes there are some symbols which cannot be transferred and copied in a YouTube description. So here we go. Generator integra integration with ESS. There was an increase, which is great. Fix a problem with the DVCC bug fix, which was introduced in 3.00, so that's pretty good to see. Then we have RVC protocol. Also, uh, issues uh, issues introduced in the version 3.00, as well as some other minor improvements. In case you have issues since version 3.00, or you notice something wrong, there's a way to go. Install this fix, or this new version. In any case, um, I'll try to be up to date with my installation, so we'll do that, which means so this means, as always, I use Google Chrome in my case. I know the IP address of my Raspberry Pi installation with Venus OS. If not, go to your little screen, server checks, little screen, whatever. Um, check the Wi-Fi connection and check the IP address so you can remotely connect to it if you want to, or you do all the installation already on your device with a little display, which also works. I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi 4. I do have connected those little one wire um, temperature sensors, so um, that's what you see here as well. I have used to set up helper, I believe, for the Raspberry Pi processor temperature. And I would like to see this working afterwards. So what we're we going to do is always go to settings. Let me zoom in a little bit more because I always get those comments that it's not easy readable. Apologies for that. So now we go to firmware, then we'll check online updates. And I just checked, but I'll do a uh, uh, double click on check for updates. And there we go. And then we can say press to update. Um, just one note here, we are on version 3.12. We are running the latest release and we have the normal image type here. All right, I'll hit update because I want to have the newest version and I'll get back when it's installed. All right, the reboot is done. What we can see here, update is installed as always. Setup helper is not installed, but it's coming slowly in, as you can see, and it also realizes uh, the other components which are installed. Now the setup helper should be installed. That's why there's a reconnect, or sorry, that's why there's a uh, restart of the console itself. And reconnect, let's see, yep. Setup helper seems to be installed. We can see this change to dark mode, that's a component of the setup helper, as well as the Raspberry Pi processor temperature. Let's go into settings really quick. Let's go to firmware. We have the version 3.13. Let's check latest update. No new version, that's great. What we'll do, go again in settings. We'll go all the way down to the package manager. Checking for downloads and installs. Perfect, and let's see the active packages. We can see Venus OS temperature, uh, temperature service is installed. 
as well as the GUI mods, as well as the Raspberry Pi display setup and setup help by itself. So that's good. When I go back to menu, when I click on pages, we'll switch to the setup, setup helper version. All right, that's great. I see my wire temperatures. At least one of them should now increase in temperature, hopefully. In case I'm holding the right one. Oh, yep, there we go. Number two is the one which is increasing temperature because I'm holding it, holding it with my hand. There we go. Successful installation on the test Raspberry Pi I have. That was Raspberry Pi 4. Now we'll move on to Raspberry Pi 2, which has multiple Victron components connected. So it means when we go here, we can see it has a smart chant. It does have a smart solar and PPT charger, as well as a propane tank and a Raspberry Pi processor temperatures installed as well. We'll do the same. Go to settings, click firmware. We do have version 3.12 installed. And yes, it's dark, so there's a little differentiation, so you understand it is a different device. And we'll hit online updates. So now we can see we're using the latest release version, but we do use the image type large, which should, should take a little longer for the installation. I'll click here on press to check again, press to update for version 3.13. We'll just do it. Double click here, and I'll be back as soon as this one is installed. All right, let's see what happened. Device is back, took a little longer because of the large image, I assume. Now we can see setup helper is not installed yet. We can see we have the propane tank still here, the processor, temperature, we have the smart chant as well as the solar charge controller. So that's good. That's pretty good. Let's see, settings, let's go really quick, all the way down to the package manager and see if there's something happening. Checking for downloads and install. It does say the setup helper is installed. That's good. Shutdown monitor installed. Temperature installed. But GUI mods is not installed. No file set for 313. That's interesting. Let's see if we can do anything for this one. GUI mods. Native packages. Oh, there we go, GUI mods. Let me click download. Yes, download. It's good to see that not every time it works also for me in my updates, because I get comments all the time. Something didn't work for other people, so it's good to see, I guess, also that it happens to me and how to troubleshoot this problem. But so far, I cannot do anything here. It says downloading GUI mods. I'm not sure if it does that already or not. It takes pretty long to do it. Okay, it looks like it has issues with that. What are we going to do? It's pretty simple. We'll go ahead to settings, general, and we'll do a reboot. We'll give it a try if it can heal itself and fix itself. All right, it's back up online again. Let's see, the tank will be reconnecting pretty soon, I guess. We'll go again, all the way to package manager check active packages and we still see GUI mods no file set for version 3.13 first thing I want to remove the package proceed just to delete it and move it back to inactive packages GUI mods. now I want to download it again and see if it does download anything 
And at the same time, I'll look at the other installation really quick. What means? Which means settings, package manager, and active packages. And GUI mod is installed 8.29, and it did work with the 3.13. My assumption at the moment is that there is an issue with the 313 large. Which is possible. Alright. So we'll use now WinSCP just to connect it. And here you can see a connection. Um, I'm using the IP address which I need and using the user root and I'm using the password as it's set and I double checked here if I said it correct. I hit connect. Sorry, it's in German. I say yes to the certificate and then we can see here one sign. Let me. And then we can see here we connected home root. Don't need that. We need to go. We are in data. Perfect. We want to go into. That's good to see GUI mods. We can see a file here already. What I need is the setup helper. And set, setup helper is here. Perfect. So, what I want to do, I want to rename GUI mods. Also, rename two folders actually, because I'm confused why there are two. And what I'm doing now, I'm telling the device again reboot. It's back. Alright, it's back. Let's go to settings. There we go. Settings. Let's go to package manager again. Let's see. Action to finish. Oh, there we go. I guess it tries to install something now. Oh! Here we are. Nice. Settings. One more time. Package manager. Active packages. GUI mods installed. Okay, it does work with the large versions as well, but I also had issues uh, with the installation. So you saw what I did. Let me reconnect on WinSCP really quick, which is this one. Let's go to data. And what I did was renaming the GUI mods folders here. Here, when I refresh, I can see GUI mods, it just created a new folder so it means it did download it again or at least it installed it again there was some kind of issue with the other version so I'm going ahead and will delete the old files and folders just to make sure it's cleaned up all right perfect regardless of this one the last check will do settings former 3.13 and as always online update press to check and tells us no new version. The only thing which is missing here is at the moment the uh, propane tank, which is outside, so it's further away. Uh, it might take a bit until it reconnects. I'm um, not too worried about that part. That it will not reconnect so far. There was never an issue, but never know. But uh, it's harder to move the entire setup uh, closer to the propane tank at the moment because it's all built in. So apologies for that. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have not upgraded yet, please feel free to do so. And there was a little troubleshooting action included as well. So maybe that's something which you need to see and learn as well and want to do. Uh, I think that's a good way to start with. I'm going to see. So, thanks for watching. Cheers!